Hi Libra. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. Welcome to another Libra Tarot reading. Libra love tarot reading. Libra love reading. And as is pretty much always the case at the Tarot Closet, Libra love messages. Channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. A reading going into their feelings for you, your feelings for them. What don't you see coming? Is anyone making a move? What's going on in everybody's head? Let's take a look at the energy coming in Libra. It's the Death card and the Knight of Swords. Wow. Scorpio energy, major arcana here. Is somebody getting over their ego to reach out? Knight of Swords, Libra and Mercury. Mercury, of course, is around communication, and it's oftentimes connected to reading and writing, so it's a strong indication of a message, social media, text message, that kind of thing, maybe an email, but it's also Mercury, it's communication. Although we can see it's the princess swords, there is a princess and a prince in this deck holding on to a scroll here, but I think this might be somebody who yeah, needs to, are they getting over their ego because they have a lot to say to you? I think they are. There's some clarity coming in here. There's some truth coming in here. All right, Libra. All your Zodiac readings are really easy to reach in the description of today's video below. All 12 Zodiac signs actually, as well as all signs tarot readings. These are collective love readings, love readings for the collective. Twin flame readings, if you're on a twin flame journey, and a lot more. You can also find them here at the Tarot Closet on the Playlist tab. All right, let's take a look at this energy that's coming in. Well, there's some intensity here. Look, it's the Eight of Cups in reverse with the High Priestess in the upright. Cancer energy, divine feminine energy. Yeah, decision here, revealing energy, of course, connecting with sort of knowing what they need to do. And this is the Eight of Cups in reverse, Saturn and Pisces energy, Libra, somebody who knows, well, who has a lot to say and who knows that they were in shadow, they were in ego when some things were said and other things weren't that were being hidden that are being revealed. This is somebody who pulled away. Perhaps there was some ghosting that went on and it's a coming back in energy. Five of Cups over here, look, in reverse, there's an apology here. And asking for forgiveness, actually. Somebody who regrets how they left things, left you feeling like they didn't love you. What went on here? Look, walking away, if you look at this energy, there's three cups here, so it's kind of like, well, that's Mercury and Cancer energy. If you were in, I want to say, in person with, with this person, it could be that somebody walked away. Like It's a lack of opening up communication because that's Mercury and Cancer energy and there's like a walking away from it. And then there's that Five of Cups energy. Yeah, and it's coming here with the High Priestess with this pull back with this revealing energy, with this decision. The apology is strong, so that is definitely here. They have a lot to say. It's almost like they've been holding back a lot. I'll tell you what, that is really clear. Because when, when you're getting into that death card energy, especially with the Knight of Swords, it's really like getting out of their ego to say what they should say. And an apology is really strong. Four of Swords in reverse, the Fool, yeah. They're getting, there's like a restless energy around here. Jupiter, and that's your energy, Libra. And it's coming here with the Fool and the partnership placement. Aquarius and Uranus energy. I think somebody wants another chance. It's coming in quite strong with the Death card and the Knight of Swords. The apologetic energy that's been coming through here. The Five of Cups and that Eight of Cups in reverse. They're getting restless around it. 
but also the ego, getting out of the ego to apologize, but it's somebody who's hoping that apology leads to more, that, you know, leads to you giving them another chance. Okay. Thank you for liking today's video, for subscribing to the Tarot Closet. I really appreciate it. Remember, it's a timeless reading, Libra. You're here when you're meant to be here. It's a general tarot reading on YouTube. Take what's for you, let the rest go. If it's not your reading, it's not your reading. Every reading won't always be for everybody. Sometimes they are, you just never know. Let's see what else is coming through. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show, show Libra what else Libra needs to see. Show us the cards, Ahu. There it is. <laughs> it's so clear. It's more energy. It's the apology. Saturn and Libra energy. What happened in this Three of Swords? Because when you get out of here, you go into the Four of Swords. And there it is in reverse. Getting restless, getting anxious, getting ready to act. Come here just taking this chance that you'll take them back. The Death card, the Fool card. Look, they have an offer here. Surrounded by the mushrooms, which are regenerative when something has gone on to with a foundation, you know, whatever it is that Mother Nature has done, created, time heals and the foundation regenerates and it's oftentimes more fertile and mushrooms are the first things that come up. They're hoping you can get past something though. It's like clean slate energy. Can we, that's too many. Can we move past this? Nine of Cups, Four of Cups energy. Yeah, look at this. Four of Cups in reverse, Four of Swords in reverse, Moon and Cancer energy. Uh, they're coming in a really different way, I gotta tell you. This apology, hmm. It's definitely what you've been wanting. This is where their energy is the strongest, Libra. It's biggest, it's like wish fulfillment energy, but I'm also getting biggest wish energy today. It's Pisces energy, Jupiter and Pisces energy. So it's both like the apology that you've been waiting for here. But this is feeling a whole lot, this is feeling like it's a whole lot more than an apology. Nine of Cups, one cup shy of the Ten of Cups. Four of Wands is here. Ace of Wands is here. Wow. Venus and Aries energy, Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Yeah, it's like getting this urge. Like I'm, com I'm coming here to apologize. Open up the door, but I want so much more. I hope, I hope that Libra will accept this apology. Look at this. So if you're seeing them, if you know you can see them at an, a particular event, Libra, so there is a party, a wedding, that sort of thing. You might be seeing them. This is a reunion energy. You know, it doesn't always imply that, but it is. it can be around an actual event, maybe even somebody that's coming back into like town, city, state, country kind of energy. But I tell you what, what is here for sure is the apology that you've been waiting for and they're getting ready to make it I don't know if you've tried to communicate before and it wasn't working. The Empress is here. Wow. Libra, you're in this energy. It's Taurus energy. You both share Venus. The Empress is connected to, well, the sacral chakra I feel and the heart chakra I love. So I got to tell you, really strong, this apology that they want to make that you've been waiting for them to get out of their ego to make is a really sincere apology. It's opening up and being emotionally honest, emotionally available, like vulnerable energy. Divine number, divine timing. So what's been going on and you know, somebody was ready, somebody wasn't, what's exact, what has been going on in this energy? I know that they want to restart this. I'll tell you that much. It's really clear. Some of you were in a long-term partnership. You were building it or it was on the table. It's like what they're coming in here with. Can we move past this? The mushrooms also here, but much bigger <laughs> with the Empress. <clears throat> Our leader, of course, of the 12 signs. Access to all the elements, water, air, earth, and fire. Look at that scepter, the power of life. 
can start, create, and grow anything. New beginnings. For some of you, this may be around some kind of family energy. Four of Pentacles in reverse and the Eight of Wands in reverse. Interesting because that's around the communication, which we already saw coming in. So it's like a delay in that. I'm working on it. The World card is here. The Moon in reverse. Pisces energy also bringing in Cancer and Gemini. Yeah, I like this because what is in that energy? It's clarity and the truth being revealed. They're getting restless here. This is somebody who wants to apologize, who's hoping there's even the slightest chance. They're panicked. That's what I want to know. Rhetorical, because I'm talking to you in a video. <laughs> have you moved on? Have you, do you have one foot out the door? Do you have two feet out the door? What's going on? Because they're seeing or hearing something that's making them kind of jealous, Libra. And the other thing, the world card here, when you, and these are yours, I'm just going to get them in because they are yours and I don't, I need to listen, do what I'm told. <laughs> but the world card is the last major arcana, right? And before you go into the full energy. So there's something around, by the way, the star is here, Aquarius and Uranus energy. It's this person coming in. It's also a really strong connection, of course, to fate in the stars kind of energy. And look at this, like the wishes that everyone's been holding on to, like the hopeful energy, hope for clarity, truth, renewal, truth, balance, and renewal, which does connect with you, Libra, connects to infinity. It's happening here. It's wish fulfillment, nine of cups, star energy, major arcana energy. It's this person coming back in. There's a lot of healing energy here today. Of course, with the star, also with the empress energy, Aquarius and Uranus. And it's connecting directly here with the moon in reverse. But what I wanted to say is when you get out of this world card energy, you go here into the fool, you know, and this is where they're wanting to go. Can, can we do this? Can we leave the past behind us? It's really strong. And it's coming here again with the world card, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius energy, divine number, divine timing, very strong soulmate energy here. And this energy of karmic debts paid, life lessons learned, obstacles out of the way, have they been to get here? Because this is a life-changing decision energy. So it's this person coming back in, wanting to make some life-changing decisions with you. It really is bringing in some lover's card energy like you making it together. But also this person is... What I'm hearing is saying, you know, it's like coming in with the apology, but I want to do this. Like, I'm ready to do this. So do they need to make some big life changes around themselves? Like, is there a move that needs to happen? Is there long distance energy? Are there other contracts, perhaps, to jobs even, to money, to work, to housing, maybe even relationships to people? Because there's the completion energy. It's like, okay, now we can move forward into the full energy. And with this dust, it's like getting closer to soulmate energy. That's you. That's you. So, yeah, this apology, it's an apology, but it's a, a lot more than an apology. Look at this, the world card connecting with... The Fool, the Chariot is here, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you have a foot out the door, maybe two. Venus and Taurus energy, kind of exhausting. Look, holding on to the belly could be literal for some of you with the Empress, but that's also just around, you know, waiting for things to start, waiting for, for this completion for the new, what's next, the new cycle here. It's ex an exhaustive energy, which is also validating for me in the four of swords in reverse, your energy Libra, of just kind of being tired of it, like burned out, like, okay, I'm ready for, I'm ready for this, for this emperor energy. So there is one foot out the door. 
Seven of Pentacles. There's the Eight of Pentacles. I'm working on it. In fact, they know. That's the thing. It's strong. Four of Pentacles in reverse, Sun and Capricorn. There's kind of like a triggering. They're worrying about it. So the Five of Pentacles here on this tree, bringing us the Five of Pentacles, Mercury and Taurus. Like it's a card of loss. It's an energy of loss, like worry. They're working on the Six Pentacle, the reciprocal energy. And they have you close, the Seventh Pentacle right here. So it's like Page of Swords kind of energy, watching, seeing that that something's changing for you or maybe has changed, getting a little worried here. There's that Eighth Pentacle. Sun and Virgo energy. I mean, I'm working on it. It's here with the Nine of Cups and it's here with the Chariot and the Ace of Wands and the Three of Swords. So what's really clear is an apology coming, but this is more than an apology. It is also around, obviously, Commitment energy and the possibilities of coming back together, moving past everything that's happening and having a future together. There's a lot of healing energy here. The truth, the clarity, the apology, all that needs to happen. Conversation, obviously. The potential is really strong. You know, you can see the connection between you, but it's something that I thought about the other day. It sounds kind of silly, but if it were, if it were a Facebook post it would be like kind of it's complicated you know six of swords in reverse seven of swords in reverse yeah okay the queen of pentacles I like this because this is my protege to the empress who's here and wanted to be your overall energy today Libra a very healing energy and can yeah, can make something work that wasn't working, like resourceful, matters of the heart, new beginnings. So the Empress has the, the backup here. And yeah, it's now it's interesting because it's here with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. And I do feel like there's something around this person, around another pentacle, which could be relationship, romantic or otherwise, but it could be a relationship to a job, a location, or money, too. You know, if somebody maybe that doesn't want to move or whatever. But they're worrying about it. Like, they made, they didn't make a, a good decision, and now they know that there's a possibility they may have lost you forever, or they could. They don't want to. Not the energy that's coming through here. And here's the Six of Swords in reverse. The Seven of Swords in Reverse, Mercury and Aquarius again. So a validation of not communica communicating, like there's a stagnant energy around that. So that's just really clear. More importantly, the Seven of Swords. It's in Reverse. Aquarius, Uranus energy. It's making amends. This is the apology. It's really strong. But again, what went on here? You know, you could see their fingers are crossed behind their back. There's two foxes here. And, yeah, I mean, clutching the swords. You know, not being honest or running away energy. It's in reverse. It's like, I want to make amends. I want to work this out. Here's the thing that's interesting. As... They've taken this time, so have you, and there is an energy shift going on here. It's like a runner kind of turning around, but you're also shifting your energy. So it's like reassessing situations, looking at past actions, take, getting priorities straight and taking new actions. They're triggered. I don't know if they've seen something, heard something, or what. So this is definitely... Somebody who's working on this apology, and then it's, but it's going beyond that. Who wants another chance? That's a lot for today. Look, the healer came in. I like this because it's validating also the death card that came in, Scorpio. His snake is shedding its skin, its renewal. So it's that truth, balance, and renewal connected to you, Libra. It's also forming, look, an infinity here. It's getting out of their ego. It's obviously a healing energy. Snakes literally cannot live unless they do that. They have 
to shed their skin and it just will come off anyway. It's connecting right here with the Seven of Swords. This is a very sincere apology. I'm going to tell you that much is really clear, pun intended, as I was saying that, looking over here at the moon energy in reverse. Look, the voice, two people here on the world communicating. Yeah, life-changing decisions, a conversation between the two of you. Yeah, so look, they're, they're on the world here. So it's really validating and it's two people. It's called the voice. This big mouth open with two people in here talking. This could be in person, four of wands. Could be via message. They're apologizing to kind of open it up. Where do we go from here? Can we move past this? Can I have a second chance? Can we start new? Clean slate energy. And again, you know, that healing energy here, it also does connect us right here with the Empress, with the Queen of Pentacles. It's right in between them. And the Queen of Cups, that's also connecting us with the Cancer energy. There's the moon again. A wolf howling, a very instinctual animal, probably first or second, only next to a bear. Coming out in front of the moon, which rules the tide, which rules the emotions. Yeah, they have a lot to say here, just even bringing us all the way back in to that death card, getting out of the ego with the Knight of Swords to communicate feelings. It is an emotional, it feels like an emotional, sincere apology in a conversation that could get emotional and maybe even a little bit intense. If there, it, it's possible to be, there's like a home involved. That is here, world card, four of wands, the home energy of seeing each other there. I know that's not for everybody, but that's also kind of like a six of cups energy for me of a feeling, you know, a nostalgic energy, a, a, a really a validation of where this person's head is, you know, thinking about it. But it can also be that you've known this person for many, many years. It can also feel that way. The soul connection energy is strong here. <laughs> Our little fox. Interesting. We have fox, two foxes here in the Seven of Swords. This is, but obviously they're coming here to make some amends. So trying to figure it out. This is connecting me to the magician energy. Gemini and Virgo energy. Mercury energy. And the magician is connected both to the solar plexus chakra I do and the throat chakra I speak. There's definitely, I mean, the conversation here is just really clear. This is somebody who really needs to and wants to make a very sincere apology, finally getting the heck out of their ego, hoping that they have not lost you forever. That has just been really, really clear. Also, the potential connecting us with the magician you can see the roots and all be below the seed here with something already, something there. The possibilities of that growing, the sun's right here. So long as nothing is going to block that, something like shadow, you know, ego or fear. Because what's hidden in that moon, you know, the potential is definitely here. Where are you at? You definitely have one foot, maybe two feet out the door. Where do we go from here? The direction. The Fool. Again, getting out of the world card, going into the Fool energy. This conversation is life-changing. That's the thing about this world card energy. It's a life-changing conversation. Wanting this happy outcome for everybody. It connects with the Sun. Leo energy, Source. The sun connected to the solar plexus chakra I do. I want to work this out. I, I want a new beginning. It's a new cycle. There's that sun here to look. Four of wands, home. The world card voice. Like, I want to come together. I want this to, go, to move forward. But it's also connecting for me with temperance, you know? Sagittarius energy. Like, working it out so that everybody's on the path to the truth so that it's everybody's leaves kind of happy you could say whether it's together or apart time 
connecting, of course, to divine timing, but also that time is running out. And this is really clear if they do not reveal feelings, apology, plans almost, I want to say. That, that, yeah, it's just so strong. Because look, it's a sand. The sand is going out. It's like running out of time. And that's connecting real strong with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles. And why they're stressed, why there's this energy of, I better get moving here because something has changed or is changing for you. It's like, I don't want to lose you forever energy. Libra, channeled love messages, messages from their higher self. Do you miss me the way that I miss you? I made a bad decision. You are beautiful. I'm sorry I hurt you. I mean, that's really strong apologetic energy here. Three of Swords in reverse, Seven of Swords in reverse, the Chariot, Ace of Wands. Definitely an apology coming. It's more. I forgive you. Are you sending that to them? I don't think I've ever seen that card. I have so many regrets. Interesting. Is there something there? I love you. I don't want to lose you forever. This has been really, really, really strong today. I am so drawn to you as I say that. It's going right here to the affinity energy in the star. This person, all roads lead back to you kind of energy, like coming back. Never doubt my love for you. It's going here with our, our wolf howling at the moon. This has hit me hard. I'm sorry I hurt you. This is far from over. Every road leads back to you. There it is. Look, there's the direction. Connecting with the world, the fool. Yeah. The truth, the clarity, also what they know. Understanding how they feel and what this is. Too late. Maybe not for everybody. I talked to my friends about you. It's connecting to home here too. Interesting. So maybe even some of you know them. I will never have a connection like this again. I am ashamed of the way I handled things. Desire. I still love you. I feel so guilty. I made a bad decision is where that went. No, I am not over you. I'm sorry I didn't reply. I am afraid to contact you. I am so lost without you. I'm sending you telepathic messages. I don't feel good enough for you. It's like I want I don't deserve you, but I want you energy. That's strong actually. It's really strong. It's bringing in Leo energy. You are the love of my life. But I don't feel good enough for you. It's, I dream of you. That's also the moon in reverse there. We belong together. Tarot closet, love notes. I 
I've never felt like this. I'm so sorry I hurt you. Are you answering that? I forgive you. These are connected. Do you think of me too? We have a deep soul connection. Everything reminds me of you. You mean a lot to me. It went here with I still love you. You are my person. I love you. You are the love of my life. I miss you too. Somebody answering that. The telepathic energy is strong. I'm sending you telepathic messages. So there, there is a conversation, even with our voice energy here, like call and answer, you know? Like I'm kind of the third party <laughs> here that happens sometimes. Your last channeled love message, message from their higher self. I want to be honest. Libra connects directly with justice. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it, Libra. I'm sending you love and light always. Thank you for liking today's video, subscribing to the Tarot Closet. I appreciate that too. Again, all the playlists are down in the description or here at the Tarot Closet on the playlist tab. So feel free to check them out if you're inspired to do so. I'm sending you love and light and I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then. Bye, Libra.